We are back with yet another episode of Dork on Twitter and right off the bat we've got ourselves a pretty interesting tweet. The tweet is saying that Vegito Blue and Zamasu, specifically merged Zamasu, are next on Global. And if that is the case, the question is, what do you think? I am down. Like, realistically, for the worldwide celebration, like, the main thing that I want to see is Beast Gohan. And if we don't get Beast Gohan, in my opinion, the two next best things are one of these two that I'm going to say. Number one, Gogeta and Broly. Or, number two, Double Vegito. Like, if it's one of those two, or if it's Beast Gohan, if it's any of those three, Double Vegito, Gogeta and Broly, or Beast Gohan, if it's any of those, this worldwide celebration has the potential to be the best worldwide celebration of all time. Although, if it is Vegito Blue and Merge Zamasu, like that is also a top tier option. Let me know what you guys would think of that, but I think personally it would be sick. Will you be summoning on either of these banners or on Kale? And I won't be summoning on any of those banners. I'm not summoning for Kid Gohan, I'm not summoning for Goku, and I'm definitely not summoning for Kale. And with regards to all three of those banners, I don't even care if there's discounts. Like, I'm not spending any coins, and I'm not spending any stones on any of those three banners. Because the main banners that I'm saving for now are the worldwide banners, as we have discussed many times on this channel. What do these guys even do? My friend Thad has asked a very good question and I don't know. Like when I was doing my summons, like I was actively hoping that I don't pull these units because I really don't care about them. Because Dokon and Stuff is also saying that all these guys do is ruin his summons. I am sorry to hear that my friend. Luckily I didn't pull them so fair enough. If I pull them in the future, I don't mind, but I don't care about them. This unit is so much fun, and fair enough, like the unit is good, the unit is fun, and fair enough, just because he's not a top 3 unit, just because he's not even close to top 3, does not mean he's bad. So if you enjoy the unit, that's very fair, and I can't really argue with anything there. LR Android 51 that is one of the worst names that I've ever heard. Yeah, it's so clever. 17, add 18, add 16, make 51. You're so smart, Thad. Who would have thought of that? I don't know. Certainly not me. Oh yeah, this loser is rainbowed now. For you and me both, my boy Vector. I pulled my last copy on these banners, so he is now rainbowed for me. Now, the tweet over here from Annie is saying that, well the point that he's making is that the worldwide banners are probably going to be garbage, that's the point that he's making and Ziet or however you pronounce that makes the response saying that the worldwide banners will have Ma Junior, Orange Piccolo, the year 7 units, Ultima Gohan and Orange Piccolo, Cooler and the Super Saiyan duo and the worldwide celebration Easy A's and potentially even Kid Goku and or oh, God Goku. So, I agree with Ziad and I strongly disagree with Ani. I think these worldwide celebration banners will be some of the best banners that we've ever seen. Okay, so between these two characters, who wins in a fist fight? And honestly, like everyone's saying that the Yu-Gi-Oh characters would win. But here's the thing. Like, Ash probably has the biggest feat out of all of them. Like, and hear me out with this, because my immediate thoughts were that the Yu-Gi-Oh characters would destroy Ash. But with Ash, like, he's picked up Pokemon that are supposed to be, like, really heavy. Like, in the anime, they didn't really make a big deal out of it. But when you look at the weight of some of these Pokemon, Ash should not be able to pick them up. And the fact that he can is a massive feat and it's an indication that he would destroy not only all of these Yu-Gi-Oh characters, but all of them put together. I have seen people being a big fan of this Bleach opening, and I'm not gonna lie, me personally, I'm, I agree with Potato Films, I'm not a big fan of the opening at all. In fact, I would go as far as to say the opening is somewhere between bad and mid, like I'm just not a fan of it, I'm really not. 
favorite Dragon Ball series and without question, it's not even close, the answer is easily Dragon Ball Z. I don't even need to say anything more there. What is your most anticipated game for this year? And for me, I'm gonna have to say Mortal Kombat. I'm not gonna play any of these games, but with Mortal Kombat, I'm definitely gonna watch the story, so that is gonna be sick. Although I've got a lot of memories with the Mario games. Better than the 8 year units. What? Cooler? And the LR Gods are better than the Boo Saga Duo and the GT Duo. You're trolling and I have taken the bait yet again. The point that Chatterbox is making here is that the 7 year anniversary is objectively the best celebration in Dokkan history and it certainly is one of the best, I would certainly definitely agree with that. The worst anniversary release ever. Do I agree with that? Do I agree that Blue Evolution Vegeta is the worst anniversary unit ever? The point that Mr. Baby is making is the gap between Blue Evolution Vegeta and UI Goku was humongous and I agree with that but I would argue that the first anniversary the gap was even bigger because stay with me with Janemba and no one cared about Janemba at the time but if you did not pull Gogeta, like if you got shafted and you did not pull Gogeta, it was genuinely worth restarting your entire account. Because if you did not have Gogeta, your account was way, way behind. Like that Gogeta was way too good for his time. Like the power creep in the first year anniversary was ridiculous. So I would argue the first year anniversary, that the difference in power was even greater than it was between Vegeta and UI Goku. And we're gonna end it with this tier list. Let's have a gander. Number one, Bulma. Number two, the GT Duo. Number three, Orange Piccolo. Those three could be argued in any order as long as you have them in the top three. And then at number four, he's got Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Again, so far I'm with you. Number 5, the Boo Saga Duo. Number 6 is a tie between the Fusion Easy A's. Personally, I think Vegito is better, but fair enough, I'll let you off with that. Piccolo Jr., Tet Goku, God Goku, and Carnival Goku. Honestly, like this top 10 list is actually one of the better lists that I've seen. Like It's not bad whatsoever. There might be some units missing from here, but, but for the most part, it's not a bad list whatsoever. In fact, let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree with me that Tech Vegito is better than STR Gogeta, even though it's close, if you agree with me that Vegito is better, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.